One of the biggest expenses for American families is food. On average, 40% of our food in America goes to waste. So that's like taking half of what you just bought at the grocery store and just throwing it right in the trash. I'm gonna share with you five ways that my family has saved money on our food bill. Thank you for coming back to my channel today. I'm Kelsey. I make videos about budgeting, mommy life, and cooking. Consider pushing that subscribe button down below and push the notification bell as well. That will give you notification when I upload anything. If you like this video, please consider pushing the like button as well. It'll really help my channel out. So without further ado, let's get started. My number one tip is stop wasting your food. Set aside one day a week, go through your refrigerator, your freezer, and your pantry, and get an inventory of what you have. Write it down on a piece of paper, put it on your phone, whatever works best for you. And also, you need to take into account what you need to use quickly, what's gonna go bad, what's gonna spoil. Maybe make a separate list of just that. This is gonna help you use what you already have before going to the grocery store and cut down on your overall waste. And if there's things in there that you're not gonna use before they go bad, freeze it. Most things that you have can be frozen. Fruits, vegetables, dairy, breads. There are a few things that don't do very well, but overall, most of the things you have, you can freeze. So once you have that inventory, we're gonna to go to number two, and that is gonna be shop your ads. For us at least, on Wednesday is when we get our grocery ads. Now I use the app called Flip. It has ads for local stores as well as national brand, um, brand stores. And on Wednesdays, that's when I go and look at it and look at two or three of the stores that I most commonly shop at. This may mean you might need to shop at more than one store. If they're having a fantastic sale on some meats at one store, but they're also having a really good sale on the produce, produce at another, it is going to be worth your while, worth your time, worth your money to go to both of those stores. My third rule is know your prices. Get familiar with what's a good price for your canned goods, meats, produce. You need to have a good general knowledge of what you should be spending for each one of your staple items. Number four is you need to go ahead and make a meal plan for your week and you need to set a budget for your week. So if you made that inventory of the items that you already have, go with what's on sale to formulate what you're gonna eat during the week. If you'd like me to go more in depth with how we make our meal plan, let me know at the comments down below and I can make a separate video on this. So once you've planned your week and your budget, you need to stick to your plan whenever you go to the grocery store. And last but not least, number five is make meals at home. I, I still do, I love to eat out, I love to go and be around people, different atmospheres, eat great food that other people made. Um, I just love the overall experience of eating out. The reality is you are gonna spend so much more money eating out than if you made it at home. Make your meals simple. Make your ingredient list smaller. You don't have to make these elaborate meals for every meal. Make them simple. We have a rule of thumb now that we have one dinner out a week and usually that's Friday nights. So you're gonna be amazed once you start making most of your meals from home, and that means uh, prepping for lunches and dinners, how much money you're gonna be saving. And your lunches don't have to be elaborate either. Most of the time we eat leftovers from what we had the night before. So we're not spending any additional money on our lunches. And if we don't have leftovers, I will make something simple. Like I'll have a sandwich with a piece of fruit or some pretzels, whatever we have. Try making more things from scratch. They are upcharging you so much by having things already pre-made for you. Pre-made mixes, baking mixes, um, buying your breads. You, even your seasoning mixes, there is so much of an upcharge for these things. And most of the time they're putting stuff in there that you might not wanna be eating. So if there's things that you think, I wonder if I can do this myself and make it myself, you're gonna be able to control the ingredients that are going in there and you're gonna be saving a lot of money by making it yourself. If you have kids, kids have 
get the kids involved. They love to get involved in the kitchen and they're more likely to eat things they normally wouldn't if they are involved in the cooking process or the preparation process as well. So there were my five tips for saving money for you and your family. Remember, don't get overwhelmed by this. Maybe try just one of the tips. Um, maybe look at your ads before going to the grocery store. You can start there. Or you can start with looking at what you already have once a week before you go to the grocery store. Just start slow, start with one thing, and then begin to incorporate more. You're more likely to have success if you don't overwhelm yourself with a whole bunch of new rules and new things that you're doing. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed sharing this with all of you. If you have any other ways that you're saving money on your food budget, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear what you're doing. But again, thank you so much for being here today. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye.